Welcome to Keep What You Earn, your judgment and jargon-free zone for entrepreneurs of all levels. Get ready to learn how to scale your business, save money in taxes, and create a business that grows your wealth. If it feels like the financial side of business is like eating your vegetables, well then think of this podcast as the ranch dressing to make the process a little more enjoyable. My name is Shannon Weinstein. I'm a CPA and business owner on a mission to simplify money and empower others through knowledge. I hope this episode inspires you to take action, but remember that the information we share is for educational purposes only and is not individual tax advice. Now that we got that out of the way, let's start the show. It used to be so much harder to get any sort of funding for your next big idea, but sites like GoFundMe and others that are out there really allow anyone to participate in the growth of a company, which is amazing. Now, along with that comes a lot of confusing tax circumstances, and really it comes down to a few key items to consider to make sure that if you're contributing money into a GoFundMe campaign, or if you are the recipient of this money, that you understand how it's going to affect you tax-wise. Now, I'm using GoFundMe as an example because it's the most prominent one in my mind, but I know that there are other sites as well that do this. So consider this applicable to any sort of crowdfunding platform, but just know I'm just using GoFundMe as the example because it's, it's the one I see the most. Now, There's a lot of confusion over this, and I actually got a lot of questions this tax season from folks who contributed to campaigns who are looking to deduct their contributions. So we're going to start with that side of the transaction. So number one, when you give money into a GoFundMe, understand that the recipient will dictate the deductibility. So if you're putting money into a GoFundMe campaign, you're going to call it a donation because that's just common plain English that we're giving a donation because we're expecting nothing in return. We are just giving money like it's a gift, right? So if you're giving money to this person, this entity, whatever it is, understand that it's not deductible unless the recipient is a 501c3 charitable organization. So if it's charitable, then it can be deductible. It can be. But if you're, I use this example all the time, I'm laughing because I know it's like if, you know, Susan's cat died and you want to give money, that's not deductible. If unfortunately, if someone's house burned down and you're putting money in to crowdsource support for that family, it's also not deductible. Uh, If you are putting money into a startup business that needs the funding, but you're not getting anything in return, it's also not deductible. So you have to make sure that the recipient is a 501c3 charity, else you're not going to be able to to make the deduction. Now, the deductibility should not be your deciding factor in whether or not to invest or donate. But what you want to consider is it's if it actually will have any tax benefit for you and if that's something that you want to consider. Again, uh, if the contribution, here's the thing, if the contribution exceeds exceeds $17,000 in 2023, and this is just whatever the limit is for gift tax, if it exceeds that amount, now we have gift tax implications. So it used to be 15000 16000 it keeps going up. If you're contributing more than $17,000 to a particular campaign, now we have to talk about gift taxes. So just keep that in mind too, that you want to stay under that limit if you don't want to deal with the gift tax, and that you want to make sure that you understand what could be applicable to you if you're going to give to these campaigns. So if you're not sure if the uh, recipient organization is a 501c3, you can ask them. You can ask them for a letter. You can also, I believe there is a database somewhere of these different organizations that you can look up, but probably fastest to just ask them and to just to confirm. And in fact, they're probably going to have that displayed prominently on their GoFundMe page because they want people to give money. And that's one of the attractive ways to do it, to say, hey, by the way, your donation is uh, tax deductible. Now let's flip it and talk about if you're a business owner, for example, and you want to use tools like GoFundMe and you want to be the recipient of the funding, So funds received through crowdfunding are generally taxable income. So for business owners, this means reporting it as ordinary business income or potentially capital gains, depending on how you're structured. Either way, it is income. It could also be subject to self-employment tax if you're a sole proprietor or if you're a partnership. And if this is considered ordinary business income, it also means, by the way, that 
expenses that you're incurring in order to promote the campaign or fees that you're providing to the platform or anything in conjunction with raising this money that you're spending can also be a deductible expense. So basically the two sides of the coin are at play here. You're going to claim the income, but you can also potentially claim the expenses. And remember that every state will have different rules regarding the treatment of crowdfunding income. So it's really important to understand how your state will tax it. And you should be really clear with your tax advisor as to the terms of your contributions that you're, you're taking in so, or if that you're giving. So you want to make it really clear, you know, what does it mean? If I'm, if I'm contributing to this campaign, am I getting anything in return? Am I getting any sort of stake in the company? That's a very different type of contribution. Am I expected to contribute on an ongoing basis? Like what are the terms around this deal? Because there's a lot of different ways that you can ask for money on GoFundMe. So just make sure you're really clear on what the terms are around this. And if this is something you want to participate in, because it can be very confusing if you don't know what the rules are. And it's definitely something that a lot of people will participate in and play off their emotions because they'll see a GoFundMe, for example, to pay for a family's funeral arrangements for their loved one, or again, to fund like a a terrible accident or disaster that happened and be able to support them. And that's amazing. But just make sure you understand, okay, when I contribute money into this, what does that mean? It just means I'm giving some of my money and that is it. Am I giving my money? Am I getting something in return? Am I going to be giving on an ongoing basis? And am I going to be able to deduct this for tax purposes? So just make sure you're aware of the answers to all those questions before you start a campaign or before you contribute. And talk to your tax advisor about how either way, either side of this transaction could affect you and your business. I can't believe how many episodes we've released of Keep What You Earn. There are literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in tax savings contained in our episode library. And there are so many topics that we cover. To make it easier to find more of what you need right now, we actually created a custom curated playlist just for you. That's right, a playlist of value-packed episodes that you're looking for based on your goals right now in your business. Whether you're making your first sale, trying to strategize your taxes, or you're scaling your team, there is something here for everyone. Check out the podcast playlist generator now using the link in the show notes and explore your custom playlist. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a rating and review on your podcast platform. This small action goes a long way for podcasters to get our message heard by more business owners just like you. Be sure to check out the show notes for links to information about our guests and ways to get in touch with me. We'll see you on the next episode.